Hi everybody, Matt back with you. Hope you're okay. It's Monday again. What seems to be currently a traditional Monday happening on this channel is we look at a Calderdale folklore story from long past. Now in the last couple of weeks on Mondays we've looked at Tom Bell's Cave and we've looked at Devil's Rock. We're in Todmanen again for this one. This one dates back to 1896. We're going to examine the haunting of Scrapers Lane. So in 1896, <laughs> I thought there was somebody behind me then. Let's try again. So in 1896, a local historian, author uh, called John Travis, wrote about the ghost of Scrapers Lane. Scrapers Lane is just above Meadow Bottom in Tomden. We're about to head on to Meadow Bottom Road. We're going to follow it up and we're going to come to Scrapers Lane. There was a poem amongst a book. The book had many other things in it. But it is the first mention of a ghost called Old Scraper. Here's his story. Now, information we don't know is how back, how far back in time this story goes, or who the real old scraper is based on. Whether it existed before 1896 as a folklore story, and then the author has written the poem about it, also not sure. It could well just be a piece of the author's own imagination. But who is Old Scraper? Well, it's said that he was the person in a local church who would go around with the collection plate, passing it round the congregation halfway through the service. They would put in their money. And this is a practice that still happens today, I think, in churches. Right, get halfway through as a collection plate. But he had that responsibility. And although there had been no issues before, on one particular occasion, unfortunately, Scraper took the money for himself. Despite only committing that one bad act, when Scraper passed away, God punished him. He wrapped him in chains and metal clogs, and he left him on Scraper's Lane, unseen but heard, and the scraping of the metal that he carries or wears is still said to be heard scraping the ground today and it would only be broken if the ground or the road was ever dug up and removed. Unfortunately for him, that hasn't happened here. There's still Scrapers Lane. So two things kind of leapt out at me so far from this story. One is that it seems an incredibly harsh punishment for God to dish out to poor old Scraper, especially if he's only committed one wrong act his entire life. And secondly, it definitely gives off the ghost of Jacob Marley vibes, doesn't it? When you think about Jacob Marley and those chains rattling. I think we're looking at a very similar ghost here. And in 1896, of course, when this story came out, well, a Christmas Carol had not been out very long either. Regardless of my thoughts, though, 
This, my friends, is Scraper's Lane. So as mentioned, we're not supposed to see Scraper, but we are supposed to hear the metallic scraping on the floor in this particular area. And naturally, people have reported hearing it before, whether that's before the story or after, I'm not sure. Sometimes when a story exists, people then say they've seen it or they've heard it. So I'm gonna keep walking up here and I'll film and I'll read you a little bit of the poem um, that was written in 1896. I don't understand it all, and I've said many times, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of poetry, but there are some descriptions of it which really uh, bring this area to life. Old Scraper was a man of fame, at least within a mile. He went to church and held the plate as far as poles from guile. But mortal frail, his foot let slip, the gods in pity see, or crack of doom has been his fate, nor evil hour no plea. Old ugly road, the road select, dark entry by the way, where sponkies squat and midnight hags hold revel nightly they. The road is kept inviolate as it would break a spell to raise a stone or spade would wake a silent knell. The purging this heinous sin was not to be of fire so clogs of iron, of ponderous weight, bedraggling in the mire. A money bag, like Scotchman's pack, upon his back he bore, with straps and buckles tightly fixed, they galled him mighty sore. Tall, gaunt and sad, Old Scraper toiled, mid brake and thorny briars. Save little star, no light was shed from heaven's nocturnal fires. Past weird and stunted trees and sharp and prickly hedge O'er ruts and broken turn by brambles mixed with sedge. For years and years, how many more, Old Scraper has paraded, At dead of night, his sins to purge, A goblin ghost, how jaded. So it seems quite apt that we finish today's tale amongst the rocks here at Whirlaw Stones. This is the site of another Todmorden folklore tale. We have obviously just seen a statue of the Wizard of Whirlaw, which was also a book by William Holt. It is also said to be a piece of folklore that the wizard rests amongst the rocks here, fast asleep, waiting for the day to wake again. Just beyond us here is the Bride Stones, another place of mystery and folklore, specifically Nan Moor. You can look about that story here. But in the meantime, that is the end of the tale of Old Scraper, the ghost of Scraper's Lane. Is it one you've heard of before? I didn't hear anything, it wasn't just I was reading over the video uh, with the poem. Um, if I'd heard something whilst filming, I would have kept that in. I didn't hear anything, I do wonder. Um, 
maybe enough work has gone on for Scraper to be released uh, and he's now <laughs> hopefully in his rightful place. But yeah, we'll leave it at that. So we'll see you very soon. It is almost time for our road trips to begin. We have an exceptionally packed summer coming up, which starting next week will include things like um, shipwrecks, sea forts, a cannibal cave, even Harry Styles. Something for everybody. Okay, guys, take care. Here's a sneak preview for next week. We'll see you soon. Bye.